So Apple Pay has finally arrived in Malaysia and if you are a customer of Maybank, Mbank or Standard Chartered Bank, you will be able to use this service on all of your Apple devices, your iPhone, iPad, MacBook and Apple Watch. For a full list of supported cards, I will leave a link to Laureate's article down in the description box below because they have covered all of them so feel free to check it out. Anyways, for this video, I will show you how to activate and use Apple Pay on your iPhone as well as your Apple Watch. So let me show you how to activate Apple Pay on your iPhone. Firstly, you will need an iPhone that supports NFC and that's at least iPhone 6 and above which I believe most of you already have and at your home page, pull down and search for the wallet app. Then click add a credit or debit card and you will see a list of options. Ignore the previous card. Now just choose debit or credit card. Continue, then it will ask you to put your debit or credit card in the camera frame to scan it. Or you can do what I did, enter card details manually. Enter your card details, name should be the name displayed on your bank card. Card number should be the 16 digit number if it's a Visa card. Click next, then it will ask you to key in the expiry date, should be on your card as well. Security code, this is usually a 3 digit number that is written on your card as well. Then click next. Terms and conditions, just click agree, then it will ask you to verify your card. I just chose the first option by text message which is similar to SMS TAC, should be a 6 digit code, then click next. And that's it, your Apple card should be activated and verified on your iPhone. So now I'm gonna show you how to use Apple Pay on your iPhone. So tap the power button on the right hand side twice, it won't be your device slip, then it will pop up with this card asking you to face ID. Verify with your face ID and then you should be able to see the credit card that you just added just now. So now what you do with this right now, just tap on any NFC surface which supports PayWave. For example, Visa and MasterCard PayWave on a restaurant or whatever. And that is all you need to know and this is how to use Apple Pay on your iPhone. So we are done with iPhone. Now let me show you how to set it up on your Apple Watch. You need to manually set it up here because iPhone and Apple Watch are treated as two separate devices. And just so you know, transaction on both devices on iPhone and the Apple Watch, they are tracked separately. So you won't have a combined view of all of your historical past transactions on your phone or on your watch. I've double checked this with the Apple support forum, but I think it's for security purpose. So on your Apple Watch, look for the wallet app and go into it, then click add card. Choose previous cards since you already added on your phone. Scroll downwards, then click continue. You will need to key in your security code again. This should be the three digit code at the back of your Visa card. Then click add card. There will be a long list of terms and conditions. Just tap agree and it will say adding card to your Apple Watch. Give it a few seconds, then it will say verification required from the Apple Watch app on your iPhone. Now go back to your iPhone, open the watch app, then scroll all the way down until you see wallet and Apple Pay, then click into it. Now you can see I need to verify my newly added Maybank card. Just click into it, it's the same thing. Verify using text message, click next. Enter a verification code sent to your SMS, then you should be done. You can click to use it as a default card. And that's all you need to know. So for any retail payments that supports Visa or MasterCard PayWave, again, you can just double tap the power button just like on your iPhone. And of course, with the Apple Watch unlock the password. So key in your passcode. So now the Apple Watch is unlocked. Just double tap this power button twice on the right hand side. And then you have the same bank card popping up that you just set up just now. And all you have to do is just tap the pay with device like how you would do with your credit card on the restaurants or merchants or whatsoever. It's the same exact function. And that is all you need to do to start using your Apple Pay be it for grocery shopping, restaurants, petrol stations, Shopee and Lazada payment option, you name it. As long as they support Visa or MasterCard PayWave, we are pretty much good to go with it. If you are concerned about security or losing your device, then rest assured that as long as the thief do not have your Face ID, Touch ID, password to unlock your iPhone, or passcode to unlock your Apple Watch, then it's pretty much unusable. So it's safe to say that Apple Pay is easily more secure than your physical debit and credit cards. And one last thing, at the moment, I personally think that this is mere convenience only. There's no support for Amex cards, so you probably won't be able to enjoy any weekend 5% cashback benefits, etc. But of course, do let me know in the comments down below if I've missed any of the benefits. Alright, I hope you found this video helpful. Thumbs up if you like it, thumbs down if you don't like it. Thanks for watching and as usual, I will see you in the next one.